Hello crafty friends, my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. Today we have number eight in the color blend series and for this one we are doing Petunia, Pansy, and Aster. This is one of the newer what I like to call Regal Trios with the Simon Says Stamp line. Now as always I can't talk about ink blending without talking about my favorite paper. This is Simon Says Stamp 130 pound cardstock and it is my favorite for ink blending. However, there are many different papers on the market that are just as good as long as it has a smooth surface. That's what you're wanting to look for. So we're going to get started here with Petunia. And these purples are what I like to call dusty purples. They're more of that regal and less of that bright, vibrant purple. I haven't played with these purples very much, so I'm going in very lightly at first just to kind of get a feel for how these inks are going to lay down. I did go ahead and re-ink these pads before I got started, so I'm also being a little hesitant for that just to ensure that I'm not laying down too much color too fast. I haven't had a chance to really sit down and play with the new color releases that Simon's done, these more regal, dusty kind of colors. But looking back at my Dew, Mist, and Raindrop one video that I did a couple videos ago, and these ones, I think these colors are drying back a little bit quicker. And so I find myself over blending them because they're drying back so quickly, and I'm, I, I need to give them more time. I'm, I'm going in a lot heavier handed to try to fix the dry back because I feel like they are drying back a little bit quicker than the brighter colors in the line. And so it's making me I go a little heavy hander, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm I'm going in way heavier handed than I normally do with the, the bright colors. And I think it's because they're drying back a little bit faster. So I find myself adding more ink to make up for what I'm assuming is over inking in areas or under inking because they're drying back quicker. I don't know if that's for sure or not, but that's the feeling I'm getting now that I've done the Dew, Mist, and Raindrop trio, and now this one. So that was Petunia, Pansy, and Aster. Now we're going to do a really fun trio. It's Aster, Charcoal, and Latte. So this is the darker purple and a dark gray and then the lightest brown that we have. So this turns out to be pretty fun. I really liked this color combo because the Aster and Charcoal are leaning a little bit more to the cool side. But then I'm coming in with this warm brown and it just really creates a fun ink blend for these colors. As I continue to make these videos, I'm hoping to not do a lot of overlapping with gravitating towards the same colors and just different names of those colors. So I'm really trying to think outside of the box and I think this is a really interesting combo that you might not see a lot. The technique I'm seeing a lot right now, which I've done as well, is the black out embossing folder. I don't know that it has quite a name yet, but what you're doing is you're taking an inked panel, you're running it through an embossing folder, and you're doing it so that it debosses versus emboss, so your image is the pressed into the paper instead of out of the paper. I hope that makes sense. Um, but the deboss image, and then you take a dark ink pad, mostly black, and you swipe that over the top so that the most top layer is turned black or whatever dark ink you use, and then your debossed image holds on to your color panel prior to running it through the embossing folder. So I could see doing that, creating maybe a winter scene, a late fall scene, or adding a cute little cottage onto this for this fall dusk scene. Definitely some options for that, and that's kind of what I saw. So this is Latte charcoal and aster. I also think that the camera is not doing these purples justice. They are looking very dark in this video, but they are a little bit brighter. So if you're not seeing true color here, I would just recommend going to my Instagram or my blog, which are linked below, and click on that and see the photo that I took of these panels afterwards. That'll give you a little bit more of a truer color. So now we're on to the ink panel number three. This is Petunia, Dew, and Honey. These are three of the newest ink colors that have come out, that kind of regal color line that I've been talking about. 
And this is honey. And my camera is for sure making this yellow way brighter than it is in real life. So again, make sure you check out that Instagram photo or my blog. I have photos of the panels as well so you can see that because this color is definitely not that bright and maybe I'm just being really picky but <laughs> it's definitely more of a regal dusty yellow versus this bright color that you're kind of seeing now. I have been trying to get into the habit of re-inking my ink pads before starting these color blend videos and you'll see here that I re-inked my do even though it's new I just went ahead and did it anyway and I went in a little too heavy there and got a little bit of a thick swatch of the green so I'm just adding more color to kind of blend those together and it ends up blending out smoothly after I've let it sit and actually I heat set these to um, get the color to dry back completely. If there's a color trio that you would like me to do please let me know in the comments below. This color trio with these purples was one that was requested by a lovely Instagram friend who I absolutely adore. She comments on all my videos and I just can't thank her enough. And she requested these purples and I went ahead and did it for her. So be like her, leave me a comment, let me know what colors you want to see and I'd be happy to put them into the queue. So we're just going to wrap up this lovely panel here again. This is Petunia, Dew, and Honey. So now we're just going to do a quick clean. I like to use squeaky clean on my waffle flower grip mat. It works absolutely well for cleaning it up. And then we're going to move on to the fourth panel. This is my favorite of the series. This is Pansy, Sangria, and Cheeky. Sangria is one of the new regal colors that Simon Says Stamp has released. And then Cheeky is one that's been around for a while. But I love the warmth that Cheeky's going to bring to these more regal colors. And you're going to see that here in a few minutes. But this panel is absolute fire. My favorite of the bunch. And this is a great trio for Valentine's Day, Sweetest Day, Anniversaries. I could definitely picture some heart shapes embossed in white or even gold to kind of warm up this pansy color even more. I think it would be great. So I'm going to go ahead. This is the one that I spend the most time ink blending because I want to make sure that I have the seamless blend in between sangria and cheeky and also the sangria to the pansy. I haven't talked about brushes in a while, but I do prefer to use brushes for my dye ink blending as well as my oxides, but I do also enjoy using foam tools for my oxide blends. But I find that I can get the best blend, have the most control with using these brushes. I also hold the brushes at the head versus on the handle because I can find that sometimes I get heavy handed and I'm worried that I'm going to snap the handles. I have snapped a handle from pressing too hard on it. It was not the Simon brushes. It was another brand, but it was definitely my fault putting way too much pressure trying to get my ink blends to blend, and I did snap the handle. So I do find that it's easier for me if I kind of use this gripping method on the head of the brush to not only have control on how much ink I'm laying down, but also to ensure that I'm not putting too much pressure onto the brush. And I can't talk about this panel enough. It's so beautiful. Add some gold to this with just chef's kiss. Send it over the edge. But this is Cheeky, Sangria, and Pansy. So now I'm going to do this quick clean, and then I'm going to go ahead and off camera heat set these panels so that you can see them more in their dry back state. And then we're going to go do a close up. So I just like to lay them out here so that you can see everything. We have a very wide range of colors this time around, which is really fun. So this is Petunia, Pansy, and Aster, the original trio. Then we're going to move into Aster, Charcoal, and Latte. Paired with these, with the charcoal, that Aster kind of takes on a more deeper, darker, moody purple. Then we're going to use Petunia, Dew, and honey. Love how the honey kind of brightens up these more regal colors. Then we're going to move into my favorite color combo, which is pansy, sangria, and cheeky. Oh my gosh, so fun. Totally could envision gold embossed images. 
even white would look really great on this panel, but absolutely love it. That's it for today. Be sure to check out the links below. I have everything linked for my supplies and I appreciate you being here. Take care.